Investigators from the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, have focused their attention on the hole in the 737 side where the door plug blew out at 16,000 feet, later landing in a Portland teacher's yard. But questions about the aircraft's manufacturing and inspection process now are also drawing intense scrutiny. At the very least, the installers missed something. FAA-certified airplane mechanic John Golia served as board member of the NTSB from 1995 through 2004. Because this was a new aircraft, rolling off the assembly line only last October, Golia says this incident raises questions about the manufacturing process at Boeing and its subcontractors. I have not seen nor heard of anybody say that there was an inspection requirement on this. There should be. Anything that's a single point of failure that's going to cause you a, a potential crash needs to be checked. Golia points out that door plugs have been used for decades on U.S. domestic aircraft. They're installed to seal up optional extra doors on airplanes when airlines choose to carry fewer passengers. They're held in place by bolts and stop fittings. The plugs are lighter than an emergency door, can't be opened or closed, and don't have to be maintained or have an escape slide attached. For domestic purposes, they put uh, interior panels across that door such that the passengers would normally never see it. Doug Rice was a commercial pilot for four decades, frequently flying 737s with door plugs. There are attached points all the way around that door that uh, keep it attached to the airframe. And did one of those or more of those fail or was it not installed properly? This diagram from the NTSB shows those attachments that are supposed to be secure. Since the blowout on Alaska Airlines, the airline says it has found loose hardware during inspections of its grounded 737 MAX 9 fleet. Sources tell CBS News that United Airlines mechanics have found at least five aircraft of various ages with loose attachments. United Airlines has stated publicly it believes these issues stem from the manufacturing process. Given the age of this airplane, it would be, it would indicate that the last person that secured the door would be Boeing. What needs to be fixed? What was missed? Was the process not followed? We don't know that the process wasn't followed yet, but what bothers me the most is the quality issues. We reached out to Boeing to ask these questions. Who inspected the plug door before it rolled off the assembly line? Was it inspected at all? We also asked the spokesman if those door plugs are ever removed while Boeing assembles their planes. The spokesman wouldn't comment on any of these questions, saying NTSB policy prevents him from discussing the case while it's under investigation. I'm Stephen Stock, CBS News.